We will learn about two big animal groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. What are vertebrates? A vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone spinal column. They have a skeleton inside their bodies, have a backbone in the skull, have an internal skeleton in their skeleton, made of bones or cartilage. The brain and spinal cord are protected by bones, have complex body systems, heart, lungs, kidneys, etc. Reproduced by laying eggs or giving birth, depending on the species. Vertebrates are divided into five classes. One, fish. Fish are animals that live in water. They breathe through gills, have fins, and their bodies are covered in scales. Most fish are cold-blooded and lay eggs in water. Examples of fish are goldfish, shark, and salmon. Two, amphibians. Amphibians live part of their lives in water and part on land. They have smooth, moist skin and usually lay eggs in water. They go through metamorphosis, changing from a baby with gills to an adult with lungs. Examples of amphibians are frog, newt, and salamander. Three, reptiles. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin and lay eggs on land. They are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature changes with the environment. Most breathe through lungs all their lives. Examples of reptiles are snake, lizard, and turtle. Four, birds. Birds have feathers, beaks, and two wings. They are warm-blooded and lay eggs with hard shells. They have lightweight bones and excellent eyesight. Examples of birds are eagle, parrot, and penguin. Five, mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that have hair or fur. Female mammals produce milk to feed their babies. They have well-developed brains and lungs. Examples of mammals are zebra, elephant, and human. What are invertebrates? They do not have a backbone. They also do not have an internal skeleton, but some have a hard outer covering exoskeleton. Usually have a simple body structure, but some are quite complex, like octopuses. Most are small, though some can grow large, like jellyfish. Have a simpler nervous system than vertebrates. Reproduce in many ways, both sexually and asexually. The main groups of invertebrates include insects, arachnids, mollusks, crustaceans, and worms. One, insects. Insects are the largest group of invertebrates. They have three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, and many have wings. Insects usually lay eggs, and some go through metamorphosis. Example of insect are ant, bee, and butterfly. Two, arachnids. Arachnids have eight legs and two main body parts. Most arachnids are predators, and some can be venomous. They breathe through lungs or special tubes. Example of arachnids are spider, scorpion, and tick. Three mollusks. Mollusks have soft bodies, and many have hard shells for protection. Some live in water, others on land. They usually have a muscular foot to move and may have tentacles. Example of mollusks are snail, octopus, and clam. Four, crustaceans. Crustaceans live mostly in water. They have a hard outer shell exoskeleton jointed legs, and two pairs of antennae. They molt their shells as they grow. Example of crustaceans are crab, lobster, and shrimp. Five, worms. Worms have long, soft, tube-like bodies with no legs. Most live in soil or water. They help improve the soil and decompose dead materials. Example of worms are earthworm, flatworm, and leech.